Hey guys, so genuinely recently I've been thinking a bit about the spiritual path and the spiritual journey and wondering if recently it's been sort of a very self-centered, narcissistic kind of vibe and I include myself in that obviously um, and I started to notice these traits all around me and even, you know, and in myself as well where I think we've kind of gone from, and I get it, we've moved into the age of Aquarius, right? So we've gone from sort of following a guru to kind of finding the truth within ourselves. But I wonder how much we've gone a bit too far with that sometimes, because you know, we've got everyone is you pushed out and it's all, you know, I'm the creator of my reality. And it kind of makes you feel like other people are sort of unimportant in a sense, because they're just players in your reality and they've got their reality. So they just kind of, in a way, pawns, right? And if you go into everyone as you pushed out, that's how you end up thinking about people. It's how you end up seeing people. Um, and it's also very, you know, there's so much focus on manifesting, which at the core, when we think about it, it's very much like, I want this, I want this car, I want money, I want um, this person. And then even when we think about social media and just how life is going now, it's just all about us, right? And especially when you're a freelancer or you're a creative, you're pushed into that even more because your identity is wound up with your work and who you are as a person. And, you know, a hit on your work is a hit on yourself and you're so intertwined and wound up with your work, which is like an, an extra level. But then you're also sort of a brand now, whereas in the past, if you were an artist, it was your art that was selling, or if you were an actress, people just watched you in films. But now it's, it's to be any kind of brand, you become the brand if you're self-employed. It's no longer enough to just put your creations out there. People really are only interested now if you're a brand and you have a face to the brand and you're sharing regularly. And it's created this very much me, 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 look at my staff, you know, whose feed isn't just them anymore, you know? I remember back in the day, we used to share group photos or um, pictures even of other people, God forbid, uh, that we'd taken on a night out. Whereas really now everything is just me, this is me, 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 me. me. Uh, and then we've got like manifesting, this is what I want, I'm going to create this, everyone should worship me. You know, we've gone really over the top with that as well, you know, this self-love vibe. I really am a massive person about self-love. I think self-love is so important. I think when you honour and respect yourself, so do other people. But I almost think the tipping point has gone a little bit too far, where people now are like... You know, I'm a, I'm a goddess, I'm a queen, people should worship at my feet, men should fall at my feet, men should worship me. And um, you see it particularly that way around, actually. And is this really spirituality? I just got me thinking today, really, is this really spirituality? You know, I suppose there's just been a big shift from serving serving God or serving source and feeling intuitively to you're drawn to do certain things to for your either for your own life path or for others and we've now gone to like I serve myself like I 100% serve myself and I don't know if this is really a healthy move or not actually um I'm genuinely not sure and I feel there's probably some area in the middle because I think you can also have wounds around serving other people so much that you don't serve yourself and then obviously that's too much of a disbalance that way i wonder if we've just lost our balance a little bit you know like maybe there's supposed to be some healthy balance in the middle where you do serve and honor yourself and you do love yourself and you do understand these aspects but then there's like a wider community as well and then there's a higher self and there's a mission and there's a path like I have never felt happier I guess I'm at a point where I've been on this journey for like about 12 years now and I've tried a lot of different things I've had a lot of different phases and I have never been happier than when like I have felt that absolute bliss and radiance and just that like peace and it's just an energy that you feel and people have different names for it and you don't need anything, you don't want anything at all. You just feel this incredible joy and, and glow and peace and you almost radiate. And I haven't been there for a while, honestly. And 
I can still remember how it feels. And I think, where was I when I had these kind of experiences? And I think often, and you know, I've been called to do different things at times as well, which I wouldn't in my mind have wanted to do. But then once they've gotten rolling, they've felt magic. And they're things that I really felt intuitively guided. Whenever I, I follow my intuitive guidance, and I guess I'm not seeking, and I have that energy that is really the most magical, beautiful thing. And it overrides having anything, being with anybody, actually. Like, it overrides all of those things. And I just question how much of modern day spirituality is, is leading us to a place where we find that. But then there is a thing as well, you know, where they say on aeroplanes, you've got to save yourself and put your own mask on first before you put your kid's mask on. And, you know, maybe that is just part of the journey. Maybe part of the journey is that we have to go off and be really selfish for a bit. We have to learn to love ourselves. We have to find our boundaries. We have to learn to respect ourselves. And then we can I'm run out of space on my new phone already. I have to keep deleting things. I just want to get to the end of this video and then I'll do a big delete. But, um, yeah, now we're in this energy of everyone has to kind of like bow down and worship us because we're the God of our reality and only we exist in our reality or, you know, we want all the resources and we want all these material things. And this really wasn't what spirituality used to be about. Like when I, the space has changed so much over the last 12 years um, from being very much about healing, yes, but you know, the, the thing was to listen to your intuition, to tap in, to serve, to, you know, be there to support. <laughs> and now it's like, I'm the queen and everybody, you know, has to worship me as the queen. Um, and I just think the world as a whole has become more narcissistic. Obviously, all of these things are for a higher purpose. But, you know, if we look on our social medias, it's all about us, right? Um, I know mine is and it's because you know you're out there as a brand and I don't know it just feels like a natural thing that sort of happened that, that you know yes we share articles or photographs or artwork or whatever but you know how often do we share a picture just of a friend or something oh my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna clear it out after this but I just want to get to the end of this video um, I'm really sorry about all the breaks in this but yeah I used to do that but now I don't and I just notice it from everybody um I don't really ever go on other people's profiles and there's pictures of their friends you know unless they've died or something and I just have really noticed this change and it's only now that I've sit, sat back and really looked at it and observed it and noticed it in myself as well. You know, I definitely, you know, don't go out there saying, oh, everyone's like this and I'm not because I'm definitely like it, you know. Um, but it's just, you know, when you have like a, a sudden, you see something from like an outside perspective and I just see how much the spiritual um, kind of goal has shifted so much from serving to serving self <laughs> um and i'm not really saying which is right or wrong and i honestly do think perhaps there is a balance because i definitely don't think that we're just meant to go around and save everybody because i think that's its own ego program like when you constantly want to save everybody outside of yourself but then i also think is this like complete self-serving thing also good either like i feel like it's making us more isolated and we've lost that sense of community community spirit i think covid really like tipped the tip the thing as well because we couldn't be a community and we were isolated even if you wanted to be like there was nowhere open there was no way you could go it was like winter over here it wasn't so bad in summer in other places because you can go outside but we just had nowhere open nowhere to go so it encouraged online communication it encouraged isolation and I wonder if this added to it as well. But yeah, it's more just a food for thought. I don't really have the answers myself, but are we really happier in this everything's about me spirituality than the spirituality we had before? I know I have less feelings of bliss in this type of manifesting, everyone is you pushed out, um, crazy self-love kind of zone but then I feel more empowered at the same time and I feel less triggered by things and I feel like I've healed a lot and I've worked through a lot of stuff but do I feel those moments of bliss and real true happiness and joy not as much um, and I think I go back to thinking that probably everything is some kind of balance and there's a point of balance that we can find amongst, amongst all this that will make us happy and I just feel we've really tilted over to this point right now but I'm going to hand it over to everybody else. Like, what, what do you think? Do you think 
have you seen the spiritual communities change? Have you seen this kind of shift? Like, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? What do you think? Let me know.